Hi, good morning, guys. Um, it is seven o'clock in the morning on the dot. Um, the sun is just um, coming up. There, it's still not even up yet, actually. Um, but it is freezing. It's eleven degrees, so I'm like frozen, sitting in my car, waiting in line to. Um, you have to sit in the car until um, they don't want it to get too packed up in the clinic. So it says I'm number 10 online, which is crazy because they just opened. So it fills up pretty quickly. Um, anyways, I am doing monitoring. I'm actually on cycle day 14. Um, and so I did it a little different this cycle. This is my second cycle on Letrozole. Um, and... I did it a little different and I started monitoring kind of late. Um, I was supposed to be in here cycle day 11, but um, I was working and I couldn't come in. So um, I pushed it back to cycle day 14. They called me and they were like, you know, I don't recommend it. Um, so I was kind of debating it. But anyways, um, so I've been monitoring my, my, my symptoms pretty closely, like always. And my cervical mucus everything it was creamy all the way up until um yesterday uh, late yesterday so i think i did fine um i don't i've never ovulated i think i ovulated once on cycle day 15 was ever like the earliest i've ovulated so i wasn't like too concerned like i just really know my body and um I just knew that I wasn't going to ovulate. My cervical mucus was um, egg white, and um, yes, so th that was the first I saw of that because it's been creamy since. Um, it was. It started like late afternoon, maybe like five or six p.m. It was uh, egg white, so I think my um, my follicles should be. I don't know. I'm hoping for like at least. What am I on? 14? I'm on cycle day 14, so I'm hoping for at least an 18 or something. I don't know. We'll see. But um, if it's anything like last cycle, I got to check. I wrote it down. But if it's anything like last cycle, I I started off kind of slow, and then it started picking up around this time. So I think I was still at like a 14 follicle size or, so, or something like that. I gotta check my notes but uh the ultrasound of my follicles i will be doing blood work um you know they check um my my um, estrogen levels and they check my lh level so let's see if that has risen any um my opk was um high fertility a flashing smiley i, I do the digital one it was a flashing smiley this morning I got my first flashy smiley uh, yesterday it was my first uh, flashing one so um, but last cycle I actually got the first flashing at 11 cycle day 11 and then I got it for like a good six days just flashing so that was kind of like bizarre but I heard that's normal a lot of women um, are different so uh, so I'm on my second day of a flashing smiley so let's see I'm monitoring that um, okay, so let me go upstairs and I should be coming up soon online. Um, and then we will see where, where I'm at. Talk to you soon. I am so, so happy. Um, so I'm cycle day 14 and I have a 19, a size 19 follicle. Um, I have a 14.5 in my right ovary and then on my left ovary I have a big old 19 size follicle um it is so far bigger than my last cycle because my last cycle i got to a 21 on cycle day 16 so cycle day 16 i should have um i should either ovulate very soon or um i should have an even bigger and then we're going to try to get out the ovulate looks like okay okay you don't really get a period at all? Um, I do, just delayed. Delayed, okay. All right. Every cycle's different. Okay, that's fine. 
Sometimes. Some people think they're like every three months, so those are a little tougher. Sometimes. Oh, so you do skip sometimes, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I skip. So here's the atrium. Six. Let's see, respond to Six. Yep, nice power ball. Very good. Alright, nice. over. We. Uh, 14 by 15. Very nice. And the left side, oh, it's like the one on each side. Oh, there you go. I have been feeling cramping. Yeah, 21 by 17. Okay, so we'll do blood tests. We're going to have you start having the course every other day. Five times a night. Alright? Okay. Alright, so we'll talk to you later about when we come back again. So almost like we start out with about uh, night, every other night. For like about uh, five days or something. Alright? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Okay, thanks. Have a good one. There's my endometrium. I am here at the clinic today um, I am on cycle day 16 and I this morning I got my first uh, peak um, on my OPK so I'm hoping to ovulate today or tomorrow um, so I'm gonna go do some monitoring and to see if my egg grew I, I came on I came two days ago cycle day 14 and my egg was um, 19, a size 19, uh, so it should have grown a bit. Hi, Aislinn. Hi. Did it, did it, did it, did it color change? I'm sorry? Did you have a color change in the ovulation kit or no? I did. Okay, you did this morning? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. See what's going on? I don't know how many cycles you can decide how much positive color change. Okay, I'm gonna go with the surgeon. Okay. Very good. So blood test, talk to you later, okay? Okay. How many cycles of letrozole um, do you usually recommend? Oh, it depends on age, three to six. So, depends on age. So under 35 is usually up to six. Uh, depends on insurance carriers. Under 35? Yeah. Under 36. Yeah. Huh? I'm 36. So, so okay. over 35, usually three cycles. Three. Yeah. Okay. Some insurance carriers want more, but generally over 35, three cycles. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And it's Matrium, the eight. And there are my, that's my right ovary on top. And then here is my left ovary.